This weekend, Ross from Muffin's Eve Modular came to Voltage Control Lab to hang out and talk weird module. Ironically, his newest module is one of the most straight ahead designs in the Muffin's Eve collection. An incredibly stable clock source with some additional bells and whistles called the count. Above the belt, count has the functions we would expect from a clock source. The large coarse time knob, as well as the fine tuning knob and CV input, can be used to set the tempo output from the main clock output in the lower left corner of the module. The associated range switch can toggle between extremely low frequencies for impossibly long clocks or much faster tempo settings. The width knob and CV input can be used to modulate the pulse width of each clock pulse. Beneath the width section, we find a row of switches. The first switch controls clock start and stop sending a gate from the start-stop output below the switch when toggled to the start position. This is particularly handy to make sure all of your sequencers start together, acting as a global reset. The other three switches set the interaction between the main clock and the four divided clock outputs. The upbeat downbeat switch determines whether the master tempo and the four time division based clocks will sync on the downbeat or first beat of the bar, or whether the divided clocks will trigger on the upbeats, resulting in a more broken up collection of clock divisions. The two switches on the right side of the module determine which set of clock divisions the four additional divided clock sources will output. As the count website states, quote, top bottom switches the divisions from even to odd meter divisions. Whereas right left switches the divisions from beats to bars. The top bottom switch toggles between divisions of two, four, six, and eight, and 3, 5, 7, and 9, while right-left swaps between the divisions of 8, 16, 24, and 32 clock pulses, or 12, 20, 28, and 36 clock pulses. Like all of the Muffin Zeep digital modules, count can be reprogrammed using the Arduino programming language. While most of the modules aren't built using an Arduino microcontroller, they are coded using the language. With the appropriate programmer, a cheap investment for anyone who might like code hacking, users can easily change simple number values in the code to get different results. Muffin Zeef has found a niche with composers and fans of weird left field sounds, but the count starts to creep into the world of useful utility modules, which may bring a new set of interested music makers to discover their work. But don't worry, the upcoming Stargazer drone instrument should redefine Muffin Zeef's strange roots. How are you generating clock signals in your system? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.